Good morning, friends. It's a cold, snowy, sleety Sunday morning here in Southern Ohio. So I thought, what a perfect time to make some French bread. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have spaghetti tonight for supper. So I thought I'd make up a quick French bread to go with our spaghetti. So to my bowl here, I'm going to add one and a half cups of warm water. I'm going to add one tablespoon of dry active yeast. Maybe if I get my One tablespoon in she goes. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey. Now this is a quick, no need um, French bread. This is local honey from here in our town. Actually, my son's, one of my son's school teacher, well, when he was in high school, he makes it. So we've got one tablespoon of honey, and then we're gonna do one and a half um, teaspoons of salt. Get all that honey in there. There's one and a half. One and a half teaspoons of salt. All right, there we go. So we got one and a half cups of warm water, one tablespoon of dry active yeast, one tablespoon of honey, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're gonna stir all that together. Get all that combined. Go, just looks like muddy water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this and let this set for about 10 minutes until the bubbles uh, start to form on top and then we'll move on to our next step. And she's back. So, got that yeast in there, let it hang out in the jacuzzi. This is my mind what the yeast was doing. Hanging out, getting foamy. So anyway, we've got our foamy yeast. I'm going to take, my oven is preheated to 400. Do you know about these? Rolls Rack Kitchen cookie bacon sheets that's uh, parchment paper that's already sliced, diced, and ready to put on your pan. Isn't that amazing? If you do a lot of baking like I do, these are perfection and they go right on your baking sheet like that. Clean up is easy with those. Check them out, they're easy to find. Anywhere products are sold. Anyway, so We've got, took off my ring too, so I don't want to get any uh, flour all up in it. So I've got three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now my friend Tasha, her daughter Callie, is just starting to really enjoy baking. So Tasha and Callie, I think this would be a great easy recipe for you all to do. Have some bread. Her mom doesn't like to bake. So Callie's gonna have to take over the bacon duties. Some people don't like to bake. I mean, to me, it's always been relaxing. You know, everybody has their own thing that they enjoy. Tasha likes to be outside, work with animals, things like that. You know me, I don't wanna be outside when it's cold. I wanna be inside baking bread. So, you know, we all have our things that we enjoy. So I'm just working this flour in a little bit at a time just so it's easier for me, so we can see. So I do have a thing with my arm, tennis elbow. So um, it's not too bad when I get up in the morning, but as the day progresses, it gets a little bit more sore. So I don't have my brace on. So here we're getting, starting to get into that sticky dough type situation. So I'm gonna keep adding this flour. And then I'm gonna transition here to my Danish dough whisk. Danish dough whisk. See if that'll help. Get all that incorporated. Okay. And now we're gonna go in with God's tools, our hands. 
want you to see here what I've got going on here. I'm going to try to incorporate all of that flour into that dough. So it may take me a few minutes here. The dough's going to be sticky, but it's not going to stick to your hands any longer once you get all that flour incorporated. So I just want to keep working it. This is the messy but beautiful part of baking. And it's a good workout, good stress reliever. We had another busy week at the pizza shop. Glad to be home, glad it's the weekend. I can tell you that. Okay, I'll keep working here. Actually, now I'm gonna put it out here on my butcher block so y'all can see it, what I got going on here. My paper towel I have to clean up. Now listen, I'm not a master bread maker. I'm just learning, I'm just starting. So um, I enjoy it and I love it. And I'm hoping to get better at it. But I like the simple, listen y'all, it takes all day to bake bread. Some of that bread you have to rise and rise and rise again and Oh, them pioneers, man. No wonder they got up at 3 a.m. to make bread because it took all day. All day, I say. Okay, now this is starting to look good. Go. I'm gonna grab. So now you wanna shape it. Since it's French bread, we're gonna go with the longer loaf here. It looks like French bread type work there. I forgot to get my scraper out, so I'm just gonna lift it up by hand. There we go, I'm gonna put it right on that parchment paper here. There we go. There we go. And not the cutest little thing. So what you're gonna do next is I've got messy hands, but you're gonna cover it with a towel like that, and I'm gonna set it over here because it's kind of cold today. I'm gonna set it over here on my oven that's preheating, um, so it'll help that uh, rise into a magnificent bread. So I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. We'll check it then, and if she's ready to go, we'll put her in the oven. I'll be back. And we're back, super excited. So here's our bread. I put it on my warm, stove to rise for um for about 25 minutes because i why i set the timer i went and folded some laundry so i i would say it was about 25 minutes <gasps> look at that doesn't that look beautiful oh it smells so good i wish you could smell it so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and we're going to score the top however you want I really wish you could smell this. It smells so good. So I just took my knife, went across the top there and scored it. And I've got some butter. Cause you cannot have bread without butter. I'm just gonna spread that right on top of there. Oh, it smells so good. I just took probably about a um, tablespoon of butter, put it in the microwave to get it softened. Just gonna spread that right on top of there. Now at this point, you could add some fresh thyme, rosemary, whatever you want. It's your bread. You can add maybe maybe some cinnamon, maybe some garlic. I'm just gonna keep it with the standard bread. I'm not gonna add anything today, but I am gonna add some coarse sea salt because what do I like more than butter? Salt. So there we go. Lovely. This was so quick, so easy. I love this recipe. It's going to be, um, I think I'm gonna make this a lot. It looks wonderful. So here we go. I've got my hot oven, 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop it in. Sixteen to 20 minutes. So I will set the timer for 16 and I'll check it then. I 
that going. So we'll go over the recipe really quickly again. So you, if you wanna write it down or didn't catch all of it while I was preparing the bread. So you're gonna go with one and a half cups of warm water. Put that into your mixing bowl and you're gonna add one tablespoon of dry active yeast, one tablespoon of honey, and then one and a half uh, teaspoons of salt. And then you're going to uh, stir that up and let it set for 10 minutes till that active yeast does its job and it'll get bubbly. To that, you're gonna incorporate three and a half cups. I use all purpose flour and you're going to uh, stir that all in and get your dough formed and shape it. I shaped it in French bread because that's what we're making. Shape it the way you want, uh, cover it with a towel. And because it's cold, it's snowing. I don't know if you can see out my window. It's a little cold in the kitchen um, for bread. So I just put it on my stove and covered it up um, and let that heat from the oven at 400 degrees help rise that dough up. So now we scored the top, we put on some butter and we put on a little bit of sea salt. Uh, kosher salt, one of them. I don't know what's in this bowl. It's a salt. It's a chunky salt like me. But anyway, I put that on there and I set the timer for 16 and I'm going to check it and um, I'll be back when she's done. Ooh, we friends, look at this. That looks amazing. Okay, so I put it in for 16 minutes. And then I pulled it out and I added a little bit of the spray butter on top and put it back in the oven for another five. So that's 21 minutes total for my oven. Everybody's oven's different. And you know how you like your bread. Let's check out the bottom. She's hot. Oh, look at that beautiful shade of tan. Now, yeah, I know, I know, I know it's for dinner tonight, but you know, I gotta have a pace. I gotta try it. It smells so good. I wish you could smell my kitchen. I'm just gonna take a little piece. Shh, no one will know. Look at that. Um, oh my goodness. I love bread. I love fresh bread. Gotta have a little bit of butter. My goodness. This is the best bread I've ever made. I'm not even joking. I would tell you if it was horrible. It's dense like your ex-boyfriend. Just kidding. I don't know your ex-boyfriend. It's hot like your current husband. Anyway, it's delicious. It's sweet. It's salty. It, it's amazing. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness, I'm not even joking. That is literally the best bread I've ever made. It was the simplest bread I've ever made. You have got to make this. I'm not even joking. Do it. Look at me. Chewing like a haul on camera. I don't even care. It is fabulous. Now I tell you if it, it was horrible, because I'm, I'm not that kind of girl. If it was like, mm, I don't know, I'd say, mm, I don't know. But this is mm, delicious. Not even joking. All right, I gotta go because I'm gonna finish this bread and waller and bask in the beauty of this bread. Can't wait to have her supper tonight. I gotta hide it because listen, I might eat it all before, before dinner tonight. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for visiting Chris's Country Kitchen. Please go make some bread. It was the quickest, simplest, most delicious bread. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Share this recipe because everybody needs to know about this recipe. Bye.